Hi, this is Charity and welcome to another 24 Wild 24 challenge. Now, this one is just for the base game. And the reason why I did this is because a lot of people don't have all of the packs or maybe are missing a few packs. So this is rewriting the challenges that were written in the 24 Wild 24 for just base games so that you can do replacement challenges. And I thought, well, there's also a lot more challenge for the base game because you have a lot less options. So I wanted to see how that went. And so I have my Sim here who I had to redress and get rid of all of her clothes that came from other packs. And I just left her hair brown instead of the pink this time. Uh, that is really her natural color. But anyway, we have zero sparks here and she is going to be on this 20 by 15 lot with zero simoleons in Willow Creek. And so in order to replace some of the challenges that you lose from having all of the packs, you have to start on a 20 by 15 lot. And one of the rewards is you get to move to any size lot that you want to move to. So for right now, we're only on 20 by 15 and the only lot challenge we have is off the grid because that is the only base game lot challenge. And there's really no annoying lot traits. So I basically didn't set any lot traits. And one of the rewards is you can add a beneficial lot trait. So there is a lot of different rewards and a lot of different challenges for this. Okay, so for the quests, we have all of the original quests that are also possible in the base game. Woohoo Don Lothario, Drown an Enemy Sim in the Pool, Start a Fire, Make a Thousand Simoleons from a Side Hustle, Eat the Cow Plant's Cake, Befriend the Grim Reaper, Have Twins or Triplets, Unlock the Grilled Cheese Aspiration, Transform into an Occult Sim because yes, Plant Sims are base game. Um, but I don't know if you can do that without magic beans. So I think for the magic beans, what you have to do is actually buy the rare plant packets to get them all. Uh, because there's no dust bunnies that could give them to you. There's no dumpster diving that can give it to you. And I'm not sure how else you can get them because you can't get them the nor whatever normal way. I can't remember what normal way it was because it was some sort of event but you can get them through the rare plant packets. So that one becomes much more difficult for just base game. We can breed a new species of frog, take a selfie in the forgotten grotto, raise a sim from the dead, break into a sim's home. Yes, believe it or not, this is supposedly base game. So yeah, I, I might have to test that. That's another reason why I'm doing this is that I want to actually test and make sure that you could do these things in the base game. And so here is my beginning of the replacement list. All of these require packs. So I have put here a challenge that is sort of related to the original challenge, but is possible to do in the base game. So instead of showering in the rain, we're going to walk in on a non-household sim showering and have a non-household sim walk in on our sim while they're showering. So that was the closest thing I could come up with that's different. Uh, another one is Woohoo Any Immortal Sim instead of specifically Vlad. Um, Alex Moyer is actually a base game sim and that's a tutorial sim so you must also use this sim for the other immortal sim challenge and that's what is going to make this difficult because you have to woohoo them and then you also have to fight them which will make it difficult if you get one before the other well if you get the fighting first that will make it more difficult if you get the woohoo first it actually won't be that bad so instead of patchy, we're going to grow a trash plant from a pile of trash and harvest it. And instead of woohooing in a dumpster, we're going to woohoo in the backyard observatory. And this one I believe is lift the curse of the night wraith. And instead we're going to get the parched and sun starved moodlets at the same time and resolve them without dying. 
and that is something that plant sims do. This one is kind of not really related, but it is uh, Take a Chance with Pufferfish Nigiri. And I thought that if you got the Starves to Death buff down to less than 12 hours, and then you also have to get your energy down to zero so that you pass out, and then you can't eat until you wake up, that that is a chance of dying relating to eating. So that's about the best thing I could come up with for the base game. And this one is Befriended Animal. So this is not really related, but turn a friend into a plant sim and you have to have them actually join your household in order to make them eat it. But that's about as good as I could get for that. And the other one is successfully convince someone to go streaking instead of toilet papering the statue at the university. So that's basically a prank that you play on a sim and I thought that was close enough. Another one, this one, okay, this is Fight Alex Moyer or the immortal sim you had to woohoo and if you get the woohoo task first then just use whatever sim you used before and if you didn't get the woohoo task first then you have to use this one for the woohoo task. And this is the substitution for fight the paparazzi. Okay, instead of befriending the talking toilet, we'll befriend the Lindsay smart speaker, which is base game, and I didn't even know that. Then instead of going to Sixum, we will just fully upgrade the rocket ship and explore space at least once. And then our rewards are either satisfaction points because you won't get as much satisfaction points if you don't play in a haunted house. We could also get simoleons. We have the reward to move to any size lot because we're on a 20 by 15 right now. Uh, we have a reward that we're allowed to choose a like which helps your fun and also prevents you from disliking that. We can choose one positive lot trait to add. We can set any skill to max because there's a lot of non-base game gameplay that will help you max your skills like tiny homes. And so I thought this was an appropriate reward for someone who didn't have that. Uh, we can remove the offer, the grid lot challenge, which is the one that we have, and we can remove all dislikes. So the penalties are almost the same as the other one. Set simoleons to zero, bulldoze the lot, clean out inventory, reset all skills to zero, clear all relationships, lose all occult powers and rank, but this really is just, if you're a plant sim, cancel the buff. And what I might do there is if you're a plant sim and you cancel the buff, you also have to get rid of everything related to a plant sim. So if you have any forbidden fruit, if you have a plant sim tree, everything goes and you can no longer be a plant sim. That will really stink if you haven't had all the plant sim related quests yet and you need to do some of them. So yeah. You can also lose all earned traits and satisfaction points if you have bought anything from the reward store. You can remove all likes and set your sim to dislike all skills, which is going to be annoying. You can add all fears in the game to your sim. And then this one is one that is sort of new. Okay, this, this is a really, really long one. Okay, I'm also going to use this for the other challenge, but I forgot to include it for the original one because I hadn't thought of it yet, but I will add this to the penalties for the other one as well. Basically, generate a new sim from story mode and replace your household. Move out the old household, use starting funds for the new story sim, purchase the old lot with furniture, without furniture, or bulldoze as your funds allow. So you get to keep your base starting funds with this story sim. So if they're starting with higher than average, lower than average, or just average, you'll probably get 20,000 simoleons and you can attempt to repurchase your other lot but if you don't have enough simoleons because your other lot had a lot of stuff on it, you could purchase it without furniture or you can choose to just bulldoze it and build what you can with your starting funds. 
And that's basically like starting over, except for you do get starting funds. And I have also set my lifespan to short lifespan, which I originally had it a long lifespan, but I thought the short lifespan will make it more of a challenge because if Sims don't live as long, we have to have kids or adopt or have science babies. And then those kids have to grow up and be old enough to do the challenges as well as earn the skills that they're missing. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what the first challenge we will have to do in the base game is. All right, we need to woohoo in the backyard observatory, which is going to be a challenge because we have to earn money for the backyard observatory. But I actually think this one is pretty easy. I don't think it's that expensive. And there's a lot of things you can do in base game, like fishing and gardening and, and things like that, that will make this probably not that bad. So how long do we have to do it? I'm going to spend between one and four days. Oh, and four days, oh, that's actually unfortunate four days to do the easy quest okay so th the bad part about that is i'm actually going to have too much time to do this quest and i'm going to finish it really easy but that leaves one two and three for the next one so basically if i finish with that one first i could go and do something else but I don't know what else will be the next one. So since I don't know what the next one will be, I might not make enough progress on that one. And I probably will fail the second one if it's a hard one. So we're just going to start off with some fishing because fishing is fun. And it's also an easy way to make some money. Oh, the welcome wagon is here. Let's see if we can invite them in. Sometimes this doesn't work if you don't have a house because they won't leave the darn fruitcake. Oh, there's the fruitcake. Forget them. Put it in your inventory. Okay, now I want to say hello to all of them so that they won't hate me because I really should have some friends or at least some people that I know that don't hate me. Oh, she doesn't like Summer because Summer is cheerful and I don't like cheerful Sims. Okay, I think if I fish together with them that they will actually become better friends with me. And like I said, I'm trying to make some friends here because in the other Let's Play, I had basically no friends except for the talking toilet. Oh, in addition to earning the backyard observatory, we also have to have someone to woohoo with. Yeah, that's one slight little detail I forgot about. Also in my other Let's Play, I had problems finding snapdragons. Now I have one right away. Oh, I got a future cube. These are actually pretty expensive. 325 simoleons. Oh, that's lucky. Now I really need to use a toilet. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to sell this feature cube. The backyard observatory is 1500 simoleons. And all I have money for right now is a toilet out in the middle of the open. I could buy some walls, I suppose, but I don't really need them yet. All right, let's see if I like fruitcake. Oh, I do. <laughs> that, well, that's a little bit contradiction to real life. I don't really like fruitcake. Okay, and now the bed situation. Best we can do is energy four right now and get a cot. I guess that will have to do. The only other option would basically be to sleep on a bench and that just takes way too long. I think it'll waste too much time. So I'm going to splurge on a bed right now. Oh, and it made me uncomfortable. Well, since we don't have seasons, we don't have rain, we don't have thunderstorms, we don't have snow and we don't have lightning. So that's a little bit of a bonus. Okay, we now have two frogs so we can breed frogs. And we have two that are worth 35, one that's worth 10. Okay, we'll keep the 35 simoleon ones. Oh, and look at all that fruit we have now. Another benefit of being in this area is that there is so much plant life and so many collectibles that really that is going to be how we make our money at first. Well, I guess this task was a little bit hard to do on one day. I think maybe it's a two-day task. 
unless you get really lucky and fish up a whole bunch of future cubes. Oh good, Zero likes fishing. That will help. What do you mean I did nothing social for 24 hours? I'm fishing with Liberty. I let her come over to my house. I guess I didn't talk to her. So that's why I'm an introvert. Sure. And now, if you're a geek, you can debate best captains, and it always gives you that want, but I can never fulfill it because you can only do it with another geek. You can enthuse about a new show with anyone, though. Okay, so Liberty is now our friend, which makes sense. She's a fellow geek, so she's been fishing with us all day, basically. Oh, and this is the new cheapest refrigerator in base game. It's only 120 simoleons, and you can get quick meals out of it. So now she has everything she needs to survive, and we still have not made enough for the backyard observatory, but when we collect everything tomorrow morning, we should have enough. And the best way to expand your plant income is to plant a little bit of everything you harvest every morning, and before you know it, you will have so much to harvest. It will be ridiculous. Okay, we could afford to buy it, question is, can you woohoo in it if there's no power? Because you can't observe the sky. That is a problem. Well, we were able to construct a little house, although we can't afford anything else. Now I need to figure out if I can woohoo or not. Let's try maybe Travis. I don't want to ruin my friendship with Liberty, and I think Travis is probably more my type anyway. Okay, he is still single. He's also a geek. Well, that was really easy. We're about to have our first kiss. Oh, we do have the option to woohoo in the observatory. So let's see if this works, even though we are off the grid. I think it does. Yeah, it doesn't need to be on the grid for it to be woohooed in, which, yeah, it makes sense, but it does not make sense that the telescope still moves because there's no electricity to make it move. Unless you assume that it's a pulley system and it's a manual thing. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cute with the fireworks and the hearts. All right, well, that's it. We don't need you to be here anymore, Travis. I guess we'll keep them around just in case, because who knows, maybe we'll need some help later on. So that means we get a reward, and let's spin the wheel and see what we get. Oh, really? Moving now? I have no money! Okay. Alright, so our reward is that we can move to a lot that is any size. I guess we don't need this observatory anymore. We could just sell it. Because we're going to basically have the issue that we have no money. Now we do have a strawberry bush and snapdragon flowers. So we really don't have to harvest them from this area. I mean, this area has a lot of harvestable plants. Maybe we should move to an area that has different harvestables. Okay, I have about 2,400 simoleons. I probably could afford any of the lots if I bulldoze it. So one of the plants that grows out there would be a lily, which I think is needed for a death flower, but I can't remember because I usually don't get the death flowers by gardening, and I think we will need to. So pomegranate, lilies, and I can't remember what else we need. Okay, so we have moved here to Oakenstead. And what I have decided is that since I have nothing on my lot and I bulldozed this lot that it's allowed. And I basically get it for free because I didn't pay for the original lot anyway. And so here is my tiny little house that I rebuilt. That's about all I can afford. And we have lots of places to fish. I have not seen any plants yet, so I'm hoping that they will spawn in eventually. I know that there used to be lilies around here somewhere, but I just don't see any plants at all, and I'm not sure if that's 
because the game is restricted in how many plants are in the area when you zone in or the entire game when you zone in. So yeah, we might have that problem. Now I have until Thursday morning to spin again. So we have the rest of Tuesday and also all of Wednesday. And I bought this trash can, but it may have been a mistake because for some reason, even when I clean something up, it is not giving me the money. And I don't know if it's because I'm off the grid. It's supposed to be functional off the grid, but it's just not giving me the simoleons. It's taking the trash away and, I, and she can't throw it away manually. So I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, if, okay, see my trash is gone. It disappeared. And I didn't get the simoleons for it. Well, if that trash can isn't going to work off the grid, it's not worth the 1,200 simoleons I paid for it. And now, of course, I'm only getting 960 for selling it. Well, that is a lesson. Do not get that trash can until you have off the grid taken away. Um, either that or maybe just the trash can is broken. I haven't used it in a while. Oh, and also I have to get this refrigerator because none of the other ones are functional off the grid. So yeah, I, re I need a really expensive refrigerator. So we will be avoiding that for now. And maybe I'll just get some light. I want to get some light in the bathroom too, but it unfortunately th this toilet doesn't allow you to put anything on it. Maybe I can buy a shelf because there's actually also nothing that is a ceiling light that's also off the grid. Oh, we do have these towel racks that are supposed to work now. And I don't think the kitty shelf or anything like that will be able to support a light, but let's check. No, it won't go on there. We can put the light on the towel rack though. That's nice. I'm just wondering if I can actually use the toilet with the towel rack there. I don't know. It doesn't look like you could if it was actually real life, but this is The Sims. I'm not sure if I can put this anywhere else. Oh, it lets me put it over here by the shower. Okay. I wonder if that blocks the use of the shower hopefully not it looks like it would and that is unfortunate because this thing sticks out way too much okay we'll try the toilet i mean i think that's probably the least offensive yeah you would really bump your head <laughs> but the way she gets up and sits down she's actually not bumping her head Okay, and that little lamp only fits on the very top shelf, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes. I'll put it up there on the top, and then I'll have one down here at the bottom for the main area. For the bathroom area, it's just going to have less light because I don't really feel like making this six tiles. That's a lot of tiles. And the next skill we're going to use to try and make some money is painting. Now, when you're first starting out, your first painting will probably lose money unless you make a small painting. For some reason, I've found that those are slightly more profitable than the large paintings until your skill is higher. I broke even on the first one. And I don't know why, but when you first start out painting, it seems like you always get this fear. Everything does not seem to be going zero's way at all lately. It has just been bad news after bad news. People keep saying you never know until you try, but never talk about how it feels after trying something new and it not working out. Zero can't take another disappointment. It's terrifying and too painful to try again. Well, oh, and there is my welcome wagon with my fruitcake. And I happen to like fruitcake, so I'm definitely going to invite them in. Oh, don't put it back in your inventory, Eric. Give me that fruitcake. Okay, she needs something to do that stimulates her mental skill. Although it is going away, so maybe I don't have to do it yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Put in inventory. I want that other fruitcake. Now I have two of them. Yeah, remember when I said Liberty Lee wasn't really my type? Um, apparently she's my Sims type. Because unfortunately we were both flirty. And someone flirted with her or, well, either my Sim flirted with her or she flirted with my Sim. And I don't know which it was. Okay, well you show off the work so that you can then sell it. It's poor quality though. I don't know if it's going to get rid of my fear or make it worse. Yeah, they didn't like it. Okay, so maybe I need to make another one. Liberty, however, is pretty close to my Sim. She's also a bookworm and a geek. Not sure if what her third trait is, but Zero is a bookworm, a geek, and a genius. Okay, so I already attempted to show off recently, and I can't do it again right now. So I'm just stuck painting. Why are we confessing our attraction to Liberty? Okay, she's not flirty right now, and I don't think Liberty is flirty either, but for some reason they keep doing romantic socials. I guess because they have a little bit of romance. I probably should have edited my Sims preferences for romance and woohoo, but I guess we'll just leave it so that it's up in the air. Because really, I didn't set any likes or dislikes either, so it's fine. Let's try a large painting now. Oh, Zero likes painting. That's good. Okay, here's a wild apple tree growing now. So there are some plants starting to become available, and we should probably probably gather some water oh there's some lily and it's actually already grown good right now collecting is even more profitable than painting i think i'm going to plant some more snapdragons and strawberries and then probably plant a few lilies as well okay liberty you can try a new career liberty is constantly calling me asking to hang out I thought gardening was fun. I'm not sure if my sim likes gardening or not. No, painting and fishing. Okay, so I need to do some paintings. We'll invite Travis to hang out because Liberty didn't appreciate our paintings before. We just have a normal quality one, but hopefully that's good enough to show off. And it was. Thanks, Travis. Hopefully I can get my refrigerator soon so that I can make a meal and get rid of this unbalanced meals buff because it becomes a little bit annoying because it always adds to your uncomfortable score. All right, Travis, time to go home. It is the end of Wednesday, so this is Thursday morning and we need to actually roll for another thing that we're going to do. And we're going to spin the wheel and see which challenge we need to do today. Oh, no. Okay, shh. No, that, that's just as bad. Turn a friend into a plant sim. May have them temporarily join the household to make them eat the fruit. But we have to have a forbidden fruit. That's going to be a tough one. And how many days do we have to do it? Um, even if it's three days, I don't see us doing this. It is three days. Okay, well, maybe. Okay, well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our gardening skill up to level 10 in order to purchase the rare plants and rare seeds. Um, and then we need to also have a thousand simoleons to buy them. Now, luckily, I do have some simoleons now because I forgot that I hadn't sold the snapdragons or the strawberries or the lilies that I harvested yesterday. But, okay, there's some more out here. But to be honest, I'm not sure if I really should go out collecting and trying to get money first. I really should be trying to get my gardening skill leveled up first. And we have gardening level three. So <laughs> in order to make this go quicker, oh, I have confident three for two, only for two hours though. Um, I think I can get a chess table in order to get 
focused. I can also get a teapot, but brewing tea is going to be problematic since I have no power. I think the chess table is my best bet. And what that will do is allow me to get focused. I can also solve hard problems, which I'm, you know, that increases my logic skill and it says it provides a boost. Well, no, it doesn't say it provides a boost. I think it's just logic skill because it doesn't seem to do anything. If I take a shower, sometimes it says it provides a boost to one of my more practiced skills, but I have no idea which skill. It doesn't tell me anything about it. All right, so I have four hours of a plus one focused. I'm going to have to get rid of this uncomfortable buff eventually because it says unbalanced meals from eating too many quick meals and desserts. And it's because I've been eating fruitcake and quick meals. But that's because that's all I've had available to me. And I can work on gardening. And maybe I can get to level 10 sometime tomorrow but we have to do this by sunday morning okay i have to be real careful i cannot dislike gardening no you are not allowed to dislike gardening eat another fruit cake okay gardening level four i think i can make a mathematical diagram that also allows me to be focused well i'm going to just try and speed run gardening to level 10. hey zero it's me travis do you want to go out on a date well, I guess we can go since we've been invited. We might as well take a little break, but we're not going to stay long. We are still really trying to get this plant sim stuff done. Now, there's probably not anything in this area that I need. Maybe some frogs. And Travis has invited me here, but didn't decide to show up. Yeah, this sometimes happens with Sims because there's too many Sims and a lot. And yeah, I don't see him anywhere. And there's really not that many Sims here either. Travis! Well, maybe we'll introduce ourselves to some people. And I guess the only reason to be here is to kind of dance a little bit. But there's really nothing that we can do. Oh, we could brew some focus tea. Yeah, the only thing is that if I brew tea, everyone else is going to drink it. I don't like that, but there's not much I can do. Besides, it won't help me to drink more than one. Alright, I'm leaving here. I did get a better bed, too, and it's going to be Friday. So we have until the end of Saturday to do this, and we're just not that close. I mean, my gardening is only halfway there. Now, one thing I can try to do is to plant more because that gets my gardening skill up. And then also it helps me because I will have more income tomorrow morning. Well, I mean, I, it's probably not going to help that much because these plants may not be fully grown, but I'm going to try it anyway. The strawberries seem to grow rather fast. And, oh, the snapdragons are already sprouted too. So maybe they will be mature enough to have fruits and flowers tomorrow. Well, on the bright side, if this doesn't work out, at least my gardening will be well enough on the way that if something else like this comes around, I might be prepared. Okay, I can graft finally, but I think it takes a long time for these plants to get yeah, they're, they're going to be forever when it comes to actually getting to the point where I can get a dragon fruit. Well, it's now Saturday, so yeah. Oh, we have spliced plants. I wonder if we're going to have any that bear a dragon fruit. Probably not, but we'll see. Ooh, we have some promising fruit brewing here uh no i see strawberries i see snapdragons i do not see any dragon fruit well even if we were level 10 right now it wouldn't matter because we only have about 5,000 simoleons we cannot get all of the magic beans with just that amount of money level eight it's not going to be enough though um we're not even going to make it by midnight most likely 
Yeah, I think the Sims 24 while 24 checklist is a little bit unfair when it comes to base game and having to make an occult because it's really easy to become a vampire, to become a werewolf, to become a spellcaster. But in order to become a plant sim, it is really difficult because there is no more event that helps you get the magic beans. And so you have to get them randomly from those rare seed packets, which are very expensive. And you can't even buy them until you're level 10 gardening. Although I say that, and I know I've gotten those magic beans so many times I actually get fed up with them when I'm trying to buy rare plants. Yeah, I'm not even going to get level 9. It seems to go up slower and slower the higher you get, which actually makes sense. But no, she's not going to make it. It is almost midnight. So I'll go ahead and let her run to midnight and then we will spin the wheel to see what we lose and what penalty we get. And then we'll also spin the wheel in order to figure out what we're doing next time. Because we actually are ending on this day and this is the end of the week. So we will pick up next time. So here is our list of penalties and which penalty is Zero going to have to deal with? No, I'm going to basically lose all of my simoleons. Great. Well, I guess that's actually not too bad. It could have been worse. Okay, so we have zero simoleons. And now what will we be doing next time? Now I had to leave that on the wheel, so we might have to do the same thing again. Oh, we're gonna break into a Sims home. That's actually an easy one. And are we going to use one or two days? And basically, how many days do we have to prepare for the next one? Okay, only one day. That's no big deal. We can do that. And then we will probably keep working on the gardening skill because that and rocket science, both of those are going to be hard. 